Anderson here with Shutter Magazine. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for reading my article. I'm so excited to be talking to you this month. Uh, the edition is all on weddings, and I wanted to let you know that I actually don't consider myself a wedding photographer. Definitely more the portrait commercial type photographer. And so we do photograph several weddings a year. I'm pretty selective about the weddings that I take on. You know, as you know, I have a, a four kids and a husband and running a business and educating. It, it's, you know, I, I don't want to give up more weekends. And so by choice, I actually choose not to photograph a lot of weddings. Uh, what we do in our role is actually I like photographing the boudoir session for weddings and we do a ton of those. And so I wanted to kind of talk to you about how we uh, bring in the brides and those bridal sessions and how that works and maybe some of the marketing materials uh, that we incorporate into our business. You'll get some details and some specifics in the article, but I wanted to at least show you uh, some of the stuff that we do. So when we are involved in bridal shows, we actually will do a booth and dedicate it all to boudoir uh, and maybe even video. I really enjoy doing video for weddings as well uh, for my team. But I love doing the boudoir. We can actually bring in probably as much money uh, sales-wise in boudoir sessions as many of you are bringing in photographing the entire wedding. And so that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, we utilize um, a local hair and makeup company uh, that we highly recommend. We almost always want them to have hair and makeup done. My sessions are typically about an hour, and our goal is to create a book, an album, and then a canvas. And that's most of the time what our clients are purchasing. So the canvas is usually something, I, I try and gear them toward maybe a black and white canvas, and they're usually about, I don't know, 16 by 24 up to maybe a 20 by 40, 20 by 30. Something that's a little bit creative, black and white, very artistic. Rarely is it showing their face. It's typically maybe the client is on their back and I'm kind of shooting shallow depth of field, wide open, 1.4, just right on those eyes. And then in the background, you get the hint of the curves of the lady. So that's one of my specialties. I love photographing boudoir in that manner creating art prints. And then we do images for albums. And that could be, most of the time I would say we're doing uh, four by eight accordions, and that would be a Miller's album. And we're putting anywhere from probably about 12 to 14 images within that. We certainly sell the hardbound leather cover uh, type out, um, albums as well. But my goal is to give them some sort of an album as well as a canvas within an hour session. So we move pretty quickly as well. And it's usually gonna be maybe two or three outfits, okay? It's not gonna require a lot of time. Remember, I move very efficiently and I photograph with intention. I would say almost always I'm at, uh, I use a Nikon D4, so I'm full frame, and almost always using my 85 lens at 1.4 and then I just adjust my ISO and uh, shutter speed as needed. I typically photograph that in our upstairs. It's a uh, pure white room with large, beautiful windows and hardwood floors. So it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, but when we're at our bridal shows, what we do is we will display boudoir photos and then uh, give out little packets. And so I wanted to show you what these packets are and so that our clients and uh, prospective clients can leave with these. So inside here, it gives them a little magnet. I'm all about, you know, I just want women to feel beautiful from within. Okay, it's really important to me. And so this magnet, it states, uh, the beauty of a woman is not in the facial mode, but the true beauty of a woman is reflected in her soul. And that's our job. That's my job to be able to create that and, and uh, uh, allow that woman to just shine through. Uh, whether these boudoir images are for her or for a significant other, uh, but like, like I said, most of the time it's going to be maybe a gift for the groom on the wedding day and I love hearing um, how you know that was revealed and stuff so that's a cute little magnet that we have and it has our logo and our phone number on it and then there's also a, a little welcome packet it's just got some information and some photos on the back I'll have all of this in the article uh, that I write so that you can utilize this these templates were all from design a glow so if you like anything here we're blurring out some of the stuff due to proprietary purposes um, in the article but I wanted you to at least see the layout because we did custom design and the images are ours but the layout and some of the verbiage actually was from design a glow so go support them okay they did a great job and then here's a trifold and it talks about the beauty guide. And then there's a pre-shoot checklist in here. That information will be in the article. 
just some more uh, beautiful photos. There's also some information on the hair and makeup suggestions uh, for the bride-to-be, as well as what to wear. Okay, so that's a cute little trifold that's included in that packet. And then we also have another fold um, that just gives some inspiration on one side, just some different beautiful images. I, I consider myself a very tasteful uh, boudoir photographer, so I'm all about, like I said earlier, celebrating the beauty within. And so it's not, to me, typically all about nudity. You know, I like them clothed. I like a little bit of mystery and the hint of sexiness that can come from the posing and the lighting and the outfit. And so I find that that's uh, really what most of my clients are desiring as well. And it allows them to feel safe and comfortable and confident. Okay. So like I said, the one side has photos on it. And then the back side, we'll talk about testimonials, uh, clients that have uh, utilized our services, the experience, what to expect. What to bring, again, it's another uh, kind of a checklist of things to bring. A little pep talk, you know, just kind of reminding them to not worry about maybe uh, flaws that they see. We will take care of all of that and to just ba basically be able to celebrate that. And so that's the other little piece. So it's a cute little kit that they can leave with. And um, it's been kind of, it's been quite successful for us. Like I said, I love photographing boudoir. To me, it's a great way to feel part of, you know, a bride's day without having to commit to eight and 10 hours all day long. And I'm able to be very fast and efficient. And then this is typically the gift that they're presenting their uh, groom or their uh, spouse to be uh, on their wedding day. And I hear frequently from other photographers uh, in our area, and they'll talk about uh, photographing that or videoing that experience. You know, it's important that we network and have relationships with all photographers. Uh, so it's just a great experience, a great opportunity. Uh, so I'd really encourage you, if you are not already incorporating boudoir into your uh, product line, and into your you know clientele I'd really encourage you to do that uh, it's been very fruitful for us and allows me to experiment with lighting and posing in a little bit more of a unique and different way so I hope you've got a lot out of this I hope everybody's doing well I look forward to seeing you again and take care bye everybody